What's up, everybody? How are people doing? How are we looking? How are we sounding? Yum yums to both. I bet. What is it, Saturday now? All right. I mean, I guess if you say so. I guess it's Saturday. Which I mean, I guess that means. I guess that means we gotta play Minecraft. All right, cool, cool, cool. I, uh, I have a few ideas. I have a few ideas for tonight's stream. Um, last time we streamed Minecraft, last weekend, last Saturday, Taters gave us a good idea um, on that pallet that I have next to the bookseller. Um, Taters said, put a take a book, leave a book bin. So we could do that. We can make like a little shelf or a bin for a take a book, leave a book, make a sign for it and everything. I think it's a good idea. Uh, we could begin the weapon shop. Um, which I don't even have a weapon smith yet. I should probably get myself one of those bad boys. Uh, we could work on the weapon shop. Um, or we could start with the flag for the town. I've not worked out a design for the flag, so we can do that and pick our town colors. So a few options. Uh, let me get logged in. Uh, no one else on the server. Nice, lonely, lo-fi Saturday. With our invisible can of soda. So sola? Soda. Can of sola. Oh, man. Having the, um... Having the shaders on when you load in. Aggressive. A lot of resources being used. Let's go over here. Where it's blocky and it's good, and we feel good about how blocky it is. Okay. What we did last weekend. Recap. This is the palette I'm talking about. We'll take a book, leave a book, bin with a sign. I think that's a strong idea. Uh, we worked on this little space. We named our villagers. So we have some booksellers. We have Laura Bush. That's right, I forgot. We have Laura Bush. We have Aristophanes, Aristosthenes, and Benjamin Frankie. Um, we created this whole bookshelf. We created our book cart and our step ladder that is functional as all get out. Uh, we got these bad boys where they need to be, and then we got Monty down here in his uh, in his butcher shop. Things I've added on my own time, on my own dime, in my own way. I added a fleur-de-lis to the bookshop. I said I was going to put some sort of like a canvas or a painting or tapestry or something up there. And I decided to go with a fleur-de-lis. It felt right. Um, I put a little book on a stand, which was kind of hard to do. I'm still not super sold on the end product, but it looks okay. And I put a little... Uh, Quill and inkwell and a paper. I mean, this guy's a, a scribe. Benjamin Franklin is a scribe. No, duh. So he needs to be able to write. Yeah. Uh, currently, we have a bug in our version of Chisels and Bits. Apparently, Chisels and Bits is supposed to allow you to place such things as these, like shroom lights, blocks that give off light. Uh, we're supposed to be able to... Um, get light out of these blocks that are currently here. Uh, it doesn't work. It's a bug. And it's broke. Broke is all get out. Um, so that's not going to work. I, what my original initial plan was to take away this lantern and put some candles down. And it happened. Um, I mean, ah, we have a lantern there. We could probably get away with putting candles there instead. It's just that they're not going to give off any light, which kind of ruins the effect. It's a shame. Also, this song is not chill. So I'm going to lower the volume a bit. Um, this is where I was going to put the weapon shop. 
uh, this is going to go down to like an apothecary. Uh, and I want the whole like, oh, there's like little windows that you can see like right at ground level. You can kind of see in there to kind of draw the eye and make people aware of what is down the steps. So that's going to be an apothecary later. But then a weapon shop right here. I was thinking we could put the door somewhere hereabouts. And then we have all this right here. I was thinking like a big display window above this staircase right here. And even maybe one on the side here. Uh, showing a lot of the weapons that are for sale in the weapons store. Um, so that's an option for us as well. We don't have a ton of space, but we could always bump this wall out a little bit to give us a little bit more breathing room inside. So that's an option. Um, things I added. I added this counter. Uh, I have a whole roast chicken. Kind of hard to see in the light right now, but there's a, um, a steak. Big old ham hock and then some sweet berries because those are the things that he sells. Um, I don't remember. Yeah, I got a little bit of meat. I don't think. I don't think I had worked this out on stream. I don't think I had the bucket or the crate with meat and entrails and stuff. I don't think I had the pig's head, the sausage links, the extra tools, the blood. I don't think I had any of this stuff um, when I ended stream last weekend. So I added all that. I need to do something with the floor as well. Those are kind of our options. Um, hmm. Another thing I was thinking of is doing... Like, if that's going to be the apothecary down there, I kind of am wondering if I should do some sort of, like, a little mini chapel for another a second cleric. I'm thinking this might be a decent spot for it. Thank you, Sound. Thank you. Because um, it's a narrow, long space that we can fit some little mini pews in on the side. We can do some stained glass. Uh, we can make it a little bit taller. So we have some rafters with like a steepled roof. Um, there's all sorts of things that we could do with this little space right here. Like a little mini chapel. I think that would be cute and fun. And stained glass windows especially, I think would be a lot of fun to work out. So I think that's another strong possibility for us today. I'm going to start off low and slow. I'm going to get into it. I don't want to do anything heavy, right? You start with the appetizers. So let's work on a flag design. I say that now, but in reality, it's probably going to take me a million years to come up with a design that I like. Um, I do think I want to use wool. Um, I have, yeah, I have this one that has a few different colors that I used for the Fleur de Lis. Um, I'm wondering what colors this particular village, I suppose, you could call it. I'm wondering what kind of colors we should have for our flag. And there's a bunch of different flag designs you can go with. Um, something medieval. So, I mean, like, colors first. What uh, What's going to really pop in this area? If we're using this dark limestone, and also, eventually, I'm going to rework these walls. I don't want them to be ruined. I want them to be new um, and pristine. I want, like, battlements and all that fun stuff. Yo, Ralph! Was well, brown and sticky a stick? Boom! Nailed it. Welcome to the stream. Oh. <sighs> Trying to pick, trying to pick colors for a pennant or a flag, and I, I'm, red is my favorite color. Like we do, like a red and gold. That's a classic, classic medieval flag, a red and gold. Um, uh, no texture pack. It's vanilla, um, vanilla textures, but. Uh, we're working with a Chisel and Bits mod, obviously. Oh, and, snap! Um, thank you for the follow. And uh, we're using shaders. Uh, what shaders are we using, though, is a good question. Cylinders Vibrant on medium. So, all vanilla textures, except that these, these are in the mod Create. That's actually probably what you were asking and looking at. Uh, we have a few very tiny mods on this just little server with my friends and I play on. We have the create mod. Uh, we have chisel and bits. 
Uh, create. Yeah, these are the like weathered limestone. Is that what they are? Weathered limestone. Yeah, because there's regular limestone, uh, and then there's weathered limestone. And there's like a dolomite, a gabbro, scoria, and like a dark scoria. Yeah, 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 for sure. And then there's all sorts of new granite andesite. Um, block textures to work with which is neat uh, but my buddy wanted to try out the create mod so we added it in and I'm grateful for it because I like this stone this color of stone this weathered limestone I like it a lot um, so not a texture pack but a mod please regale me hit me with it Knock, knock. The delay on this makes the joke all the more sweet. Bro, I... It's just me. It's just me. I'm knocking. I'm here. Let me in. This is a very good joke. I like this a lot. Uh, let's get rid of that, boink. And we already have a yellow. I mean, that could be our red and gold. Yeah? Um, I, I want black. I want black wool. Yeah, yeah. Let's do actual true black. Boink. Okay. Uh, I mean, but, uh, hmm. the thing about the wool texture is that it already has some variability in it. So I don't think we need to bring much more texture to it as is. Uh, you know what? I should I should do a flag reference image. Medieval flag. Ooh, the red and the blue I like. But I'm not ready to work out like an emblem yet. So I'd really like to do something. Yeah, like the rectangular long flag with the little pointy ends waving in the wind. I'd like to do something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's hitting it. And then, first flag placement. <laughs> Maybe up on top there. Let's grab our... Our wood bag. Um, I mean, yeah, let's go with this. And I also want our concrete powder. Yeah. A little bit of like metal fastenings. I think that'll work out. All right, let's grab these. Ooh, 
Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay. Um, so we can make sure it doesn't get in the way, because I want to do, like, little crenellations and stuff up here. Make sure it doesn't get in the way of that. Let's do... Do, like, a little iron plate. And let's go seven, three, four, five, six, seven, seven by seven. A little three by three in the middle. And then. There we go. And I feel like we should probably make it taller. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Maybe even do a little bit of reinforcement. small And we'll attach it, like, here-ish. Sure. Actually, it's going to be yellow. First. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yeah. Um, here we go. Yeah, so nine total. Sure. All right. That reference image up. Yeah, okay. I think the best way to do this is probably alternating. Okay. On the outside edges, anyways, the inside is going to be all red. Then we want to let's come out this way one. Do that for three. We want to jog back the other way. Oops. 
go. That for five. And then come around the other side. I need more, like, block blocks. Well, maybe not. Maybe we'll be okay. Jog it back that way. There we go. And do two. And then do one more out this way. And one more out. Yeah. At any point, should it come down? Hmm. Eh, maybe not. Well, let's make it easy on ourselves and say no. And let's come forward. And then back. Yoink! Oh. oh, I can't quite make that. That sucks. What if I do this? Nailed it. Take that off. Yeah, let's have it wrap around a little more aggressively. Go straight back a couple. go and then kind of have it whip back straighten out a bit where it gets just kind of a long tail of red. Yeah, there we go. I like that. That's going to look good. Okay. So now... Do all red to start with. Then we'll come back in and replace with the pattern. I 
the thing I like about using these existing textures is they have a little bit of variability already built in, which I appreciate. It can make it hard to get the exact look you want, but I think it's worth it. one. No. Nailed it. Alright. Now we chop out whatever we don't need. Place mode and we get all of the yellow detail in here that we wanted every other one boom boom and actually these should now be all red yeah something like that there we go that's not a terrible facsimile of something waving in the wind. It's not awful. Um, and maybe we go in and give it a little additional yellow. Oh, back here at the beginning. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. Maybe even there. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. I do feel like, though, that this... Should be this way to keep it consistent. There we go. Now, let's go see how that looks from down below. That's always the test, right? You do something up close, and it looks decent. How does it look from far away? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Oh, for sure. Yeah, I like that a lot. Awesome. Well, I would like to kind of complete the top look. So let's do those crenellations while we're here. Go. And we need this one. Oh yeah. Okay. Now those, um, I'd like them kind of chunky. So let's go with these. Let's do them in, in this style. Okay. Um, let's do drawn region. Should they bump out at all? Maybe. Oh, still in replace. I 
damn single bit. All right, um, one. If they just bump out by one, that'll be a nice, subtle little detail. Four, five, maybe? So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. And let's make them. Um, hmm. we could make them squares on the corners. That'll be okay. I was thinking something like just a few bits high. One, two, three, four, five. Let's make them go up six. But I also want them to come down one extra. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I want a, a two-bit overlap on the bottom here. Make that a little more dramatic. Bonk. Yeah, big and chunky is the way to go. Big and chunky. Boink. Yeah, there we go. I can actually probably make that a few bits longer on each side as well. Maybe a couple higher too. Two. And let's go. One. Two. Let's check that out. Once we get the dimensions for one of these down, we'll be able to just bang out the rest of them really quick. Yeah. Man, do we come down one more even? I think we do. I think we come down a third one. Extendo grip. There we go. Now I can place bits from anywhere. <laughs> Boom. There we go. Shouts out to Taters for that extendo grip. Yeah, that's a good size. Let's do that on the other corner. Oops. Boink. Okay. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, even numbers aren't bad, because we're working with blocks that are even, so. Um, and then we want to go three down. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. So, a one. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six. Is that what I want? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Boink. Lovely. And how tall is this bad boy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh. I made a cube and I didn't even realize. Boink. And doink. All right. Come out and go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And actually take that last one. There we go. Boom. And there it is. Okay. Now let's extrapolate that and do what if we do eight pixels without it 
and then it's another eight, so it's half of this, eight without, another eight, eight without. Yeah, we're gonna run into a problem there. What if we do four? So four, eight, four, eight, four, eight, four. Yeah, we're in trouble. Um. <laughs> Um, what if we do on the seams then? The corners are fine, but if we do uh, four on each side of the seams, so eight centered on each block, I think we'll I think we can get away with that. Okay. So it's that we come down three, and it's those four. We go there. That should be eight, three, four, five. Yep, it is. Okay. Out here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the eighth one we click and drag. Oh, okay, scared me for a second. Yep, then we can just do that on each of these. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Two, three, four. Boink. Come out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Doink. Easy peasy. Two, three. There. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom. All right, let's see how that looks. Oh, <laughs> come on, son. Come on, son. That looks fantastic. Oh, that looks so good, though. Look, yes, jump for joy, Ben Frankie. It looks so good. How many of these we got left? We're going to need to chop another one of them. Another one of them, boys. Do we have any with us? Of course not, why would we? Let's grab another one of those thick bricks. That looks phenomenal, I can't wait. Um, we'll go ahead and do the top of the structure we have and then since the building behind it, well it's part of the same building, but the roof structure behind it is gonna be taller to accommodate the chapel um, and the pitched roof. We'll just find some way to blend it with it later. I'm not super worried about it. Um, yes, give me one of you. Bonk and bonk. All right, how's our bag doing? We almost full? Okay, not terrible. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We're good. We're good. I love these. I love these Saturday Minecraft streams because. I'm doing all my work right here, which means all my farms in the base are just going. Going and going and going. You know, this is a type of crenellation that we can steal and repeat it on the walls when we redo the outside walls. Dude, that looks so fucking good, bro. That looks so good. Give me more. I can't wait till it's all done. Yoink. All right. Y'all ready to repeat this five million times? I wonder. Can I schematic it? Is it worth trying to schematic? I feel like it might be. It might be. Yeah, to get these two halves. If I schematic that. Um, it's on replace, which needs to be because we have a bug. 
but if I place a bit, I hit replace. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, think smarter, not harder. You dang fool. Wow. That is fucking dope. That was hella worth it. Uh, we can also grab the front. Yeah, 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 yeah. Place a bit. Oop. Oh! It worked, though. Show sure enough. <laughs> bro, let's go, bro. Boink. Oh, why? There it is. Okay, and then we just come down three. Freaking peasy. Chiseling Bits is a wonderful mod. It just is. It's so terrific. Boink. Alright. And we're very, very careful. We put these bits down. just go oh it's doing it do I need to okay so that might not work on this side unless we do this no <laughs> what if we do nah it don't want to play that's fine We can stop being lazy, put in some real work. Uh, meanwhile, while we're up here, let's take this bad boy and go to okay. one, two, three, four, up to here, and then all the way out. Cool. Let's do that here as well. Three, boom. Up to that. Two, three, four. And all the way over. Okay. Oh, yeah. Man, we really don't get a lot of good daylight in shaders, do we? All right, and then we just fill this one out as well. And this one. What did I do? I went one, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. That'll be easier to... Boom. And that's all of it, right? That we need to do, because we don't know how we're tying in the other roof. Oh, bro. <laughs> that looks good! Oh, that looks fantastic. Wow. It just does. Let's make sure we didn't flub up anything inside the bookstore. Ah, 
it doesn't look like it. I think we did. I think we did good. We did a good. Uh, we should probably get our Minecraft character character to sleep real quick. I don't want to deal with any phantoms. Oh, awesome. Those crenellations look great. That flag looks awesome. I'm a big fan of the red and the gold. I think that looks really good. Oh, I do like the little iron detailing. I think that looks good as well. Oh, I love it. This building is phenomenal. I love everything about it. Except for the fact that this has to bump out. But you know what? It gives it a little bit of extra character. That's what I think. In fact, I'm about to double down on that bitty. Bonk. There it is. Am I missing? Surely I am. Oh, I need the extendo arm. Come on, son. Oh god, what have I done? What hath I wrought? This is what I want. What? Mm hmm. <laughs> It's you, sir. Oh, I see why it wasn't working. What a dork. Boink. That'll cover it. I just missed a pixel, that's all. Um, but hey, you know what? We could... Come out here and do, like, the full brick. You know what I mean? How cool is that? We can add in individual big bri- Oh, guys. We're in trouble now. This is the rest of the stream. Adding in these individual bricks. Shit, dude. You kidding me? And then get the dark line there. Help reinforce the separation. Individual big bricks that stick out. Oh, shit, dude. Shit. Y'all, I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Oh, am I out? I'm out. Damn it. Let's go get some more. They also don't have to, like, stick out. I could do a replace. Bob. What is this? Let's crank it. Hell yeah. Now we're grooving. We're making we're making mines. We're crafting. Yeah. Oh. Bonk. Individual bricks that stick out. We can also do replace here at the corner.
Look at that. Look at that. Boom, big brick. Big brick on the corner. Come on, son. Big corner brick. Oh, man. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. What if we weren't limited? Oh, my God. My God, what hath we rocked? Take the cobblestone and we like and we like mess it up a little bit. Ooh, mama. Get it, son. Oh, look at that. Our own custom blocks. Let's replace these. Let's see, we're just we're getting fancy over here in a really crazy way. Holy shit, bro! Bro! That looks so good. Right, and then what if, what if we just came and like, hey, we got a little bit of cobble down at the bottom. Cobble bleeding through. Cobble alert. Holy shit. I am in love with this. Boom. Boom. And then we just met, we do, we do a little mess up job. Y'all, I'm in trouble. This is bad for my health. What if we came in? We did. We got like little bits of brick. Little bits of brick. Come through that way too. What if the possibilities are endless? We got a we got part of a brick showing through there too. How about that? And we come and we mess we get a little messy with it. You know what I mean? That is freaking awesome. That looks tremendous. I love that so much. And I really love the idea of just kind of going along the bottom and giving us like little, little nasty bits of cobble down at the bottom, you know what I mean? It just, it looks phenomenal. So good. So good. This is... Y'all, this spells disaster for me. Boom, like a little bit of the stone used there, peeking through. We're gonna have one big stone section right there. Boom, bing, bang, boom. Big stones poking through. Um, cobbles creeping up into there. Watch out. Structural integrity is down. A little bit of cobble there. Mess it up a bit. Love it. Love it. Yo. Especially in the corners. Give me those messed up corners. Unbelievable. How good this looks. Shit.
Wait, what? Why? Okay. Oh, let's get that torch back there. We need that. What happened? Oh, did I change modes on accident? Drawn region. And we're on replace. Yep. Okay. No, 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 no. There we go. Every block is unique because I'm doing it all by hand. Every block. And then let's have a, let's get a big, a uh, little, big old bricky boy right here, right? Boom. Why not, right? Boom. Nice solid brick on half of that block. How cool is that? No, maybe there's a, there's a crack happening here. And it's in a little bit of disrepair down up down at the bottom. Better watch out. This is so cool. I love this. I really do. Big chunky brick. Boom. And then let me bring it bring the brick down. Down to the bottom. And then let's mess it up. Get messy. whole new world that I have stumbled upon. This is tremendous. I love this. It's just that extra. Oh, this blending is so good, though. It's a small thing. But it is oh so good. that dope streamer going this dope streamer got a dope streamer that does look pretty good I like that
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, take it away. The piano. The feelings. You know, we did, we did do a few of these pop-out bricks. If those become a problem, we can always get rid of them. Now, since we have set this as the wind direction, we need to make sure all of our subsequent flags and stuff are pointing roughly that direction as well. Keep it consistent. Um, I think I would like... Hmm. What were we going to do? All right, we did flag design. We picked our colors. Red and gold. They pop. Also, in this area, the librarians have... You know, red and gold on their headbands. Also, don't walk around with a torch out, you dummy. Makes the game lag. Um, take a book, leave a book, weapon shop. Um, I'm feeling something else small. I don't know that I want to like work out the structure of another shop at the moment. Oh, dude. Please don't. Please don't with the arrows. Let's go sleep. Look at our work in the light of day. Man, if the chisel and bits people ever figure out how to hot fix the fact that the light blocks aren't working, it's gonna just be lamps everywhere. Look at that. That looks tremendous. All this detail. Everywhere you look, there's something. Something interesting everywhere you look. That's my goal. Um, take a book, leave a book, leave a book. We could... Do some sort of a shelf right here. And then a bin where people would return the books. And then hang a sign. Sure. Let's get all the stone put away. Put out the shelf. Um, yeah, I, I, just, I really like this combo. All right, let's um, get this shelf figured out. We're on place now. Let's go with line. Would be nice. All right, let's get our boundaries figured. Let me get a little small little bookshelf. How about that? Something like that, backed right up against it. And... Doesn't need to be very deep. something like that is fine for what we're doing. Um, Ground region. Yeah, let's do a solid back. And then yeah, for now, let's just do this. We'll work out a little bit of detail there in a second. Mm, we're going to push it this way by one. So we can add a little bit of detail to it. Yoink. There we go. 
And then those go there. Yeah. Sure, 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 sure. All right. Um, get the bottom shelf in. We'll put it a couple pixels off the ground. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll do another one. And then we will pop it off. There you go. Something simple, something easy. And then we're no longer on replace. Thank you. Do this. It is easy to get complacent and just make a box, right? Because it doesn't have to be anything fancy. It's not fun. Fancy is fun. Go, and I wanted to. Gotta knock this out. Oink. Yeah. I did want to, however, include a tiny little detail like this. It is easy to do. Doesn't get in the way much. And helps give it a little bit of something extra. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's easy. Tiny little bookshelf. Um, sure. Then we need a bin. Where the books would be returned or left. Take a book, leave a book. Uh, this is where you take the book. Here's where you leave it. Let's see. We could do a crate a la one of these. I think that's a nice look. It's easy to do. Um, but I worry that that's not going to contrast enough with the palette. So we could do a crate that is more like this. Just with a top that is like open into the side, like pulled off into the side. I think that's what we're going to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, let's um, make it a little smaller than the boundaries of the palette so we don't lose that detail. Doesn't have to be super tall. We'll have an outline like a so. Again, I don't want to lose the detail of the palette. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, okay. Solid. There we go. Actually, given that we need an inside layer, that's going to be too small. So let's bring it out one more. There we go. We'll just get rid of those. Easy peasy. Okay, now let's do our inside layer, and I did planks for those, which is probably the right thing to do. Um, spruce planks we could do. Let's see how oak looks, just as a contrast. Yeah, 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 it'll pop more. that one too tall.
Oak planks. Yeah, yeah, I like that. And then we will... Do something similar to that. Yeah. Yeah, we probably don't have to worry about the other sides of it because we're going to be putting the actual lid of it. Um. Hey, Quellis. How you doing? I'm sorry. I was so, like, boom. Super focused. <laughs> that I missed it. I like these lo-fi beats. Beats. I don't know why I said it like that. This is what we've worked on today. We did these crenellations up top. We designed this little pennant flag. And we discovered that doing these little cobblestone bits and bobs here and there, also adding in this like large thick bricks around, really helps. Really, really helps like blend some of the cobble in and stuff we did a little bit of that which looks really terrific and great and good and I'm liking it right now we're working on a take a book leave a book station which was Tater's idea and I liked it a lot so I think we can actually shove what is the server for just my group of friends and people they know to pop on and muck around with uh, it's just the create mod and chisel and bits and that's it um, cause the create mod has like some really neat automation stuff. Last stream here. I'm sure taters won't mind if we rock it over to his place to see the thing that he made in create real quick, but it is very cool. He made an ore doubler essentially, and it's wild the crap you can do with it. Um, he's diving really deep into create and then I'm creating things with chisels and bits. Uh, I have seen Rick and Morty, yeah, quite a bit of it. My wife and I actually need to go back and... I don't remember what season we were on, but we were watching it. We kind of fell off for some reason. I don't really remember why. Maybe another show came up or something. Let's go look at Tater's Place. Let's, let's take a step back from the chiseling and the bits and real quick uh, taters is this way I love these little signs these signs are so good <laughs> so, taters that way drum that way <laughs> I love these signs blitz and chits that is not an episode I have seen unfortunately so it's not a reference I get oh my god I have not seen his house I haven't seen this yet. <gasps> oh, that looks awesome. So Taters told me what he did. This is a create mod thing. He told me that he went into a creative world, built the house and saved it as a, like a blueprint. And then with the create mod, you put in all the materials and you make a cannon, a schematic cannon, fill it with gunpowder and put the blueprint in and it the cannon fires out all the pieces and builds it for you. This is awesome. This looks very good. I like the barrels in the corners. I know, that's super cool. The create mod is wild. All the things it can do. Look at this, big old gears coming out the wall. My man Tater is operating on a different level. Bro. Oh, he got his dragon head in there, too. Look at this. Smithing stations down here for the floor. That's cool. I love these pipes. How freaking cool is that? Wow. This is... This is tray cool. I hope he doesn't mind that we're, like, totally invading his privacy. Little buttons for drawers. 
dude. Taters be playing another game. It's got extra storage up here. That is very cool. He has packed a lot of detail. 2025 is right. He has packed a lot of detail into a small space. That is very impressive. That looks phenomenal. Also, the grindstone upside down. Dude. Dude. Look at this with the signs. Giving just that little bit of extra dimension. This is wild. Dude. Hats off to taters. That looks phenomenal. I'm over here chiseling bits and a sign together, and he's building a dope freaking house. Anyways, this is what I was going to show off. Is This is his ore processing station. So he actually has... He has a windmill up top that's running... Hey, I am. <laughs> I'm bragging on you, bro. Um, he has a windmill up top, and that's where the shaft is coming from. And that is powering his crushers where you toss the ore. It, cr it grinds everything up, comes along a conveyor belt, gets washed into nuggets. Uh, extra cobblestone is pulled out. The nuggets come down here, and they get compacted down into ingots. It's wild. And then all of this other stuff is being powered by these water wheels. I know, it's crazy. It's really, really crazy. And it looks tremendous. Oh, is this like an automatic stone cutter? Oh, that's very cool. I like that a lot. Dude, the house, your house looks amazing. I was just ranting and raving about how cool all the detail is. Also, I left your front door open and I'm very sorry. But like the grind, the upside down grindstone, my guy? What in the world? I don't have any logs on me. Um, like, using... I never think to use these kinds of blocks for these kinds of purposes, but, like, blast furnaces, barrels for structural support and extra detail is a really smart, big brain thing. Also, these gears you have, so cool. Yeah, open fence gates and supports. The little, the signs down here blew me away. This is, I have never seen you build something like this. It looks very, very good. Alternating between fences and fence gates. Yeah, and then you loaded it into the schematic cannon, which is really cool. Take a log from your chest. through your stuff where's your stuff hey puffle bro you haven't moved in yet you have not moved in yet it's all out here bro do you even lock there we go we can use acacia i never use acacia oh yeah uh toss it onto this Oh, what? <laughs> what? It stripped it. <laughs> Dude, the animation. <laughs> oh, does Taters have me pulled up on his stream? <laughs> Dude, the animation <laughs> killed me. Whoa, that's so cool. Ooh, yeah, Puffle. Yeah, that schematic cannon is very, very cool. Oh, let's get a shot of this real quick. Look at this awesome ass area. This is so cool. Hey, Taters, do you know about the 40-40 the trick for flying? 
I just, I just, have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Uh, look at the thing like towards negative Z or no, is it, is that where it is? Yeah. So the very last number on that longest bar, see, I'm trying to get it to like 40. It says like facing west towards negative. You go to 40, negative 40. And where your momentum halts, you go, you just kind of alternate. And you can fly. If you do it like perfectly, you can fly almost indefinitely. So 40. I've only used one rocket this whole time. 40. 40. I turned around, so it messed it up a little bit. But it's, yeah, it's really crazy. So when I was in the, um, the end. Oh, man. Tesla's place looking dope, too. Very nice. Minecraft chic. Um, so when I was in the end doing shulker farming, I was using that trick to conserve rockets. Not that we need to anymore, but since we have that creeper farm. Uh, yo ah. Here we are. Check this place out. Yunk. Oh, dang it. Flubbed it. But yeah, that's the create mod stuff that Tater's been working with, which is insane. Okay, let's <laughs> see you, dude. Have fun with your Nuzlocke. Uh, let's get our stuff put away. Uh, and let's finish this uh, take a book, leave a book station. Alright, uh, we were working on the bin. I need to make the lid. <laughs> Tell me about it. I've been asking the same question. <sighs> Always locking it. And popping it. And you know what? Sometimes dropping it. Um. Alright, this needs to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 wide and we're gonna offset it by one are we on the right mode yep okay so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten excellent oh i missed one that's okay oh this is a wii music remix I did not realize that initially. Did I just... I just took that one away and I didn't need to. You dang fool. Alright, and then we come across. Boink. And then let's fill it in. I know this isn't technically how it's supposed to be. But whatever. Boom. It's clear enough that that's the lid. And that it's off. And we'll stick a couple books in there. Stick a couple books on here, and then we have to design the sign. So let's do all of those things. Mine? Is that red wool? Why? Why you red wool in there? You should know be in there. That's weird. I don't know why that was in there. Is there wool in other bags that shouldn't be in there? This one was good. Nah, man. We Gucci. Alright, let's grab our book materials that we know and love. Um, where's the sand? Sand me up. There we go. Alright. And these are the makings of every good book. Let's, um... I might need to trap door it. Okay, and a few smaller books. Cool. 
And we'll even do one of these that we love to do. Boink. And then let's bring it out a little bit. There we go. Sure, that's good. Um, and then let's just replace. Yep, there we go, some titles. Okay, and then we will stack a couple books in here. Am I on replace? What's going on? I am. What a dingus. There we go. Man, these zombies want in. They really do. And let's do that. And that, even though you probably never see it. And then let's... Do one of these bad boys. Boom. There we go, a couple books. Easy as pie. That is something we are used to. Used to doing. Boom. All right. Now our sign. We want... Yeah, we like that because it looks like white paint. And then we need our... Let's go with our spruce planks. And actually probably need this for the nails. Uh, I don't need those planks anymore, though. Boink. All right. The sign. Take a book. Leave a book. Um, just for now. Hopefully not going to end up this big, but we will see. can have it come out a couple. I think we can get away with something like that if we have to. Alright, and now we're in replace. So. the lettering to be a little strange. A little interesting looking. Nope. Not like that, though. Struggle with the ease. Um...
Does that help? We can do that. Maybe we should do take leave? Let's see if we can fit leave. should be lower so we start it here yeah that's a little better there we go that's not bad Take and leave. Take a bug, leave a bug. That's not bad. All right, now let's do drawn region. like a neat interesting looking sign and actually we could separate them into two separate signs which is an idea that I really don't hate yeah like that's not awful. Like they got pieces of driftwood. Fashion them into signs. Alright, we're already on replace. So we'll kind of tack it up with a few nails. There we go. I like that. It's not very period appropriate, but I kind of like it. It's cute. It's kitschy. As with all the letters that we make, take and leave, it's very clear from far away, but the closer you get, the less it makes sense. <laughs> Just like, please close gate. You can tell that's what that says from all the way out here. Free meal. Free bone meal. You get close up, and it's like, I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore. <laughs> uh, it's silly and dumb. And maybe doesn't fit perfectly, but I still kind of like it. Take a book, leave a book. Hey. Get some screenshots here. Uh, I need to get a good screenshot of our flag that we made. Oh, it <laughs> looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. 
and the crenellations look great. Love them. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, what fun. What great fun. Okay. I can cross off the take a book, leave a book. Hell yeah. Awesome. Man, the only other thing I had on my list today was starting the weapon shop. That's such a big project. I feel like I need to get the framework for that worked out in my head. I want to do something else small that's fun and creative. Let's work on one of these barrels. I need to get barrels set up, sir. Uh, for Bob, for Bob Evans, I need to get his. I need to get Bob's barrels up. Um, I'm gonna want that. I'm gonna want that. Um, that's kind of it. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Do I want to build the barrels out of a different wood? Maybe the dark oak planks instead. Uh, you, sir. Oh, baby. Oh, yeah. This one had the white concrete powder. Oh, yeah. Okay. Solid. All right. Let's figure out a barrel. Um, like one like right here. We're on replace, just like I figured we were. Uh, if we could center it on a square, that would be great. All right, here's our middle. These are our middle four. Uh, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Fair point. Well, it's fair point. Um, where's that? There's a great reference image for circles. Um, oh, yeah. Here we go. Pixel circle chart. How big do we want to make it? Uh, it it's less than 16. Uh, let's make it... I don't want to do an odd number. These are all odd numbers. Here we go. 14. Um, let's get that back. Let's see. Two away from each end. There we go. And it needs to be four. Oh, it's bumping. What a good song. That's two. Well, that ain't right. Well, whatever. It works. I feel like that's going to be good. That'll be decent. Um, let's do that one more layer. Um, two more layers with that, possibly. And I think down at the very bottom, we're going to get rid of one pixel down at the very, very bottom. A 
the hell am I listening to right now? <laughs> what the hell is this? Uh, okay. It's like an uh, Nibelheim incident remix from Final Fantasy VII. Weird. Very strange. Yeah, let's cut down here and let's get rid of one pixel. All the way around. thing about this though is we can template it when we're done because I want two maybe three barrels and we can do the free place um, I wish there was a 16 pixels one and there just ain't oh here we go 16 thank you thank you Got it. Okay. So that's the difference. So it comes out. Two, three, four. That still comes out for the two. Two. And then there's one there in the middle. Boink. And then a two here. Yeah, boy. Go. Ooh, this is gonna be tough. Eh. There we go. Probably would have been better served to build this somewhere else and then put it here, but whatever. Whatever. That's for cowards. Zombies have just got to go. Got to go. This might work. We'll see. Um, boink. And there. Okay. There we go. And then we bring that up like four or five layers three four five so how many was this this is one two three four or three yeah five feels appropriate because then it's another three on top of that and that'll be the top of the barrel uh, is that a little squat for a barrel maybe do six that'll be 12 pixels high at the very top Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oops. Let's go on six and see how we feel about it. Thank you. 
I didn't finish doing this. What a dork. Four. One, one, two. That's what was so wrong with it. I was like, what the heck? There we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Eh. don't know. Hmm. I see what I did wrong. Let's finish this and we can fix it. The ratio should be the other way is the problem. I know that probably doesn't make any sense. But it does to me, damn it. The problem is I did fewer on the bottom, more in the middle. It should be more on the bottom, fewer in the middle, and then more on top. The ratio is just off. So, that's okay, because what we can do... Mm, let's do this. Just go around. like three more layers of it I think be the appropriate thing to do Okay. Let's repeat this on top and then we'll work out that ratio a little bit better. I think this will end up being maybe four wide instead of three wide, but we'll see. So we need how many of these? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This will be a little more than a block tall. Yeah. I like that. Um. That's maybe the best way to do this. 
Honestly, probably this. I'll have to go back through and retake out all the bottoms, but this is nice and fast. Yeah. And so that is one, two, three, four. Let's get the other four. Yeah, that's gonna be about the height we want. Let's just do three. I want people to be able to see what's in them. just add one more to the bottom bottom again. Let's do the last two on the bottom. And then we'll run into a little bit of a problem, but we'll fix it later. bring it up one more I don't know I do know that I want to bring this top in one more too a little bit go it's not quite turning out how I wanted it but it goes like that sometimes yes 
do one more layer on top. See how that does us. That's very close. That's getting there. Let's do the bands around. See if that does anything to change our minds. This might be the thing that really seals the deal and makes us feel better about it. We're two below that. We're here. I mean, that's barrel like, right? I honestly feel like we could take this out. Might help a little. Yeah. Then do we take the top off? Do we go here? Maybe. Let's finish this band. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. Something about it just bothers me. Take another... No, that's not the answer. Hmm. I don't know what about it bothers me so much. Apart from the fact that that's not complete. Ooh. There we go. I mean, it looks it looks okay. You can tell it's a barrel. We have space to fill it full of things. Um, speaking of, let's set the bottom. pasta like a copy and paste because uh, if so that would be this positive chisel design I can go click and then 
Oh, what is our button for that? Uh, controls. Is it? Period. Okay. Then we can go boink. Oh, wait. No. It's, um... No. I need to first... Oh, my brain right now, though. Uh, yeah, there's nothing interfering with this block. Let's place one bit. Place that. Very good. Love it. And then we need to grab the top of it. Place a bit. Place it. There we go. Boom. Multiple barrels. And now we need to... Because I want to place it somewhere very specific. Let's go here. And then we'll place it off-grid. And what keeps happening, for some reason, is it always places it one off the ground when I do that. And I don't know why. I don't know how to fix that. Oh, shit. Um, oh, I, I just fucked up big time. Um, well, it's just going to be one off the ground. <laughs> because now that it's not a single block... Oy vey. Also, this is an issue. It's multiple blocks. Oh, this whole thing is a nightmare. Um... Yeah, this is not the best. What if I do this? Um. Oh boy. Yeah, this is Omega Rip. This is not going to work at all. I'm going to have to trash this whole thing. Yeah, didn't think so. That's okay. Let's, um... Same material. Boink. And boink. And boink. And boink. 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 Oh, no. I'll do that. Drawn region... Okay, there we go. We got our pieces back, is all that matters. Um, <laughs> the fact that this is not one block makes this much more difficult. Well, all right. Let's just place one right next to it. It's fine. It'll be symmetrical. I don't care at this point. <laughs> All right, now, grab the top. Nailed it. It's fine. That's fine. Okay. I was also wanting to stick like a hay bale or something right there. So is there a block where we could achieve that effect? <sighs> Nailed it. Um, I wanted, oh yeah, I wanted two barrels, one for beets, and one for, um, apples. I wanted beets and apples, and then I wanted to put, like, a pile of pumpkins down here, with a pile of melons next to it, and then a hay bale. So thinking about a hay bale, what, uh, what block should we use for that to make hay? I mean, the stripped birch wood is straw-like. 
nice and pale. Maybe something with a little bit more yellow in it. But something that is relatively textureless. That's gonna be way too yellow. Born coral block. Nah, 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 nah. Stripped birch might be the block of choice. I think it is. Stripped oak. Nah, 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 nah. I think it's it's gotta be stripped birch. It's gotta be. Now what we can do is do stripped oak like down at the bottom where maybe it's gotten a little wet from sitting on the ground. You know what? I bet we have some stripped birch in here. Oh, you know we do. Lovely. Let's sleep because good lord am I sick and tired of these damn zombies in my ears. I'm also afraid of phantoms. Go. Whoop. All right, fellas. Oh my god. There are so many of them. Okay. Okay. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. I'm fine. It's all fine. It's all fine. This is great. Love it. I love it. Uh, the problem was they started burning, and the game was like, yo, that's a light source. That's what uh, just befell us. That's a creeper. I don't want to do... I don't want to mess with creepers. Because I they'll blow my crap up, and I don't want it. Okay. Mm, chow down. Alright, a bay of hail. A bay of hail? A bale of hay. It's been a long week. All right. I was wanting... So, because it's like a real-time lighting issue with the shaders, the zombie burning as a light source is creating an extra real-time updating light source that the game has to keep track of, and it was killing my frame rate. Um, which sucked. <laughs> It really sucked. Also, hail at your bay. Alright, let's do four. Boom. One, two. Did I center that? Or not? Two, three, four, five. I did not. That's the problem. Which means... Wait, what? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. I, I didn't even actually fix the problem that I created in the first place. There we go. Yeah, something like that. bring it up one more doing a lot of work with circles today not my favorite okay it needs to go in never make anything easy on myself. I had to build this as a circle in a corner. Just what the dang idiot goofball I am.
Okay, we'll take that one up a couple. <laughs> Look, I think we've already established that moving things is actually a huge pain in the ass. <laughs> and I don't want to do it. I just don't want to do it. This is fine, though. Um, I'm feeling as if... Yeah, probably the next one up, we will make it thinner than four. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. It is within one block currently. But it's, I know what you mean. It's fine. Nobody cares what the inside looks like. Like. Too late. Go. So hopefully you understand what I'm making. Uh, those like, um, I guess it's not a hay bale. It's like a hay bunch. It's like they are like straw. Maybe they like bundle it at like semi near the top, and so the bottom like floofs out. And then the top kind of floofs out a little bit too, but kind of three quarters of the way up. It's a bunch. We're bunching it. Um, this one I feel like should now become two. And that's just how I feel. Boom. Let's experiment. I could look at a reference photo. For circles. <laughs> but y'all know I'm not gonna do that. That'd be crazy. Um and then two like that. Oh yeah, we're all two by twos over here. Um What am I looking at right now? Man, I don't even I don't even know what I'm looking at. Like that. That's what I need. Go. Boink. Yeah, like that. Okay. There we go. All right, bring all the twos up. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We can do it, we can do it. All the way around. Yes, first shot all the way around. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> it's the little things. Um, all right, keep cinching her in. that yeah there we go boink boink to the point all right if we cut 
I'm in like one more. We're almost to the point where we should have the tie off. What does it look like when we come in an additional one? Alright, and then uh, what color tie should we do? Um, let's do... this some contrast and some texture mm. I'll switch to this we'll kind of like wrap it around it a little bit and then we will even have the ties like come down Something like that. Blue ties, bro. You right, you right, you right, you right. All right. Oh, no, 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 no. Always forget that. And then I want it to kind of fluff out. Let's get fluffy. And we did that by going like this. Boink. Oh. oh yeah. And we come up. Okay. And come out one more. don't hate this. This looks okay. It looks like a big sack is the problem. Don't clip that. Oh, this son of a bitch. Hang on, hang on. I can do this. I can do this. Fucking nailed it, bro. Boom. It looks like a giant. <sighs> it's supposed to be wheat. It is. But it, it looks like a, a big sack. I think the problem is I should have used the color red for the tie. Because then it's more evocative of the wheat in the game. And I should be subbing in some of the color yellow. For this other stuff. Um, I know it looks like a sack of gold. You're hurting me. But hey, Animal Crossing tunes. Uh. Okay. Um. Oh, when am I gonna stop? 
Um, when I'm done with this damn bundle of wheat. This son of a gun. Let's go to single bits. Replacing. Does this help? Is this helping or hurting? I don't, I don't know if this is helping or hurting. Now it looks like someone dropped butter on it. This hurts so much. Well, that's not my fucking problem, bro. You playing Valorant is not my problem. I'm streaming, loser. I see what you're saying. Y'all wanna, y'all wanna watch two married people fight on stream? About to go down. <laughs> Fucking fight me, bro! <laughs> uh, gosh, does this help? If we do it right, maybe. I don't. I mean, it maybe, maybe. Uh, maybe a little less in the middle. I'm not quite as tall. Can't go that tall with it. Now it looks like a chess piece. This is this hurts me. Is it too thin? I mm, is it too thin? to fix this it just doesn't it's not what I want things went bad here today folks hey repo plum uh, it just looks bad Feels bad. Sucks so bad. I hate it. I hate it. It's just not at all what I want. Nobody asked for this. Oh, now I have to do this dumb thing. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Oh. Okay. Now I get rid of top plane. Doink. And I put the tie back on there.
it's just, it's just, just not what, it's just not what you want. Also, I'm gonna get rid of these. I'm getting rid of these. Oh, you're Sko. Okay. Well, hi. How are you? This sucks. This, th look at this shitty little thing. <sighs> can I, can we, can we rewind? Can we rewind to earlier in the stream? When I was banging out shit like the take and leave sign? I was banging out these crenellations, this fucking great flag. Can we rewind? Don't pie boy me. Please don't. Um, can we go back to that time? Back before these barrels that suck. Back before this chess piece, bag of gold, fuckstick monstrosity. Can we rewind? I'm upset. I'm upset now. Look how bad this looks. It's just not at all what I wanted. I'm gonna delete the whole thing. Ugh. Ugh. What a... What a bad time. When I put the... When I put the VOD together for this and I write the name of the chapter for this whole section, it's gonna be Don't Watch Waste of Time. You know what we can do? really quick. I don't want to end stream on a failure. So let's make our pumpkins and let's make our melons and let's feel better about ourselves. <laughs> Glad you guys are having a good time. Glad you guys are having a great time. I wish, I wish I could be having a great time. Okay, that's roughly... What is that? That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is it an eight by eight? It is, it is, it is. Surely it is. Do some a little something like this. A little something I like to call. I don't have a name for it. That's what I like to call it. Boink. There we go. Get a little melony with it. Just cut off the corners. That little bit right there. This cute little punky boy. And then um, hit it with one of these. And then hit it with one of these <sighs> man the ease with which I'm making this pumpkin is disgusting and upsetting when held up against the nightmare that we created over in that shit corner so uncool and you put a little leaf on it so you know they're fresh. Look at that fresh ass pumpkin. Look at that pumpkin, that looks great. You know what would be great sitting next to this pumpkin? A bale of hay! <sighs> bale of hay would be nice. You know what, let's give this pumpkin like a younger brother. Um. give him a younger brother his name is John oh, what a good boy John is
God. John is a rock star. Look how good he looks. John is too good for this world, bro. Those pumpkins look great. Those pumpkins are rock stars. Now let's make little melon boys. Let's make little melon boys to go with the little punkies. Let's do it. Um, instead of that, pump our melon vines are straight up green, all the way. <laughs> Doesn't deserve all the suffering. Doesn't. So we have like we have little little itty bitty baby melons over here. I want to make I want to make a big melon. I want just a big old melon. You know what? Melon. It's gonna go in our corner of shame. Uh, this is the re this is redemption melon. Um. Seven, eight. That's our center point for redemption, Melon. Ugh, me too, Quellus. Same Z's. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is very good. Very good, very good. Good start to redemption, Melon. Um, let's get a bigger base. And we will, like we did before, we'll chisel away at Redemption Melon until we have the shape we want. Yeah. Uh, Yo. Oh yeah. Boy, this really is the corner of shame, isn't it? Because it's just a shame how bad building in here is. There it is. All right, and let's give Redemption Melon one more block on either side. Here we go, here we go, here we go. This is great, I love this. Um, he should probably be like one, two, let's think of Redemption Melon as a big boy. He deserves a lot. Well, no, watermelons are not square, boyo. They are oblong. Start with this on all the corners. We're gonna work our way where we're carving, we're visualizing Redemption Melon in a very real, visceral way. You you look at the stone and you visualize the figure within. That's what SpongeBob told me. Nailed it. Okay. These are, this is, this is like, this is like a superhero origin story. All right, let's take one more in each direction. Just like that. Just like that. Can you guys see it yet? Can you see Redemption Melon take shape? Beautiful. There's never been a melon quite like him. All the other melons, you know, they were always picking on him. Little did they realize the strength he was hiding inside. One day at school, um, one of their... <laughs> One day at school, Redemption Melon's bus caught, fly caught flame, and all the other little melons were in danger. But, I ask you, did Redemption Melon shy away from the heat? Of course not. Because Redemption Melon is a hero. 
and heroes don't run from their destiny. And I'll tell you this, on that day, Redemption Melon saved all the other melons from a grisly, flame-like fate. There is a power. He needs a cape. God, you're so right. It just wouldn't work for the area, but you know what? He he does deserve one. Um, mm, mm, mm. these two, each corner. These two. Oh yeah, it's happening. I can feel the melon inside. Something feels off about Redemption Melon. No, I guess... I guess he's right. This is throwing me for a loop. I think a little bit. I mean, this is pretty close. We're, we're very close. Uh, and I think the thing that's left to do is add on to what we have created. That's not what I wanted. Oh yeah. It's coming together. It's a pretty good looking melon so far. And then we just repeat that here. Oh, it's gonna be so hard. Redemption Melon, why? Okay, 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 okay. I just, I just, I need, I need a trapdoor. Um. I, I gotta. The Redemption Melon deserves nothing less than perfection. Um, here we go, here we go. Very good, very good, very good. Tremendous effort. Perfect. It's flawless. He's beautiful. Um, it's not, actually. It's just really darn close. There we go. That's what we needed, what we wanted, what we've been waiting for. Um, mm, 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 mm. Let's, uh... A little 4x4, four four, and then a little 2x2. Two two. And then up here at the top. I know it's crazy. I know it's crazy and it's wild, but we just do a couple little little boys like this. That's tremendous. He is. He is. Yeah, it's effortless. Um, the skill with which Redemption Melon is able to accomplish these feats. How high are you? One, two, three, four, and then two. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Perfect. 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 And then we did three off the ground. 
and it was a four by four. Lovely. Just fantastic. I can't. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Oh yes. Oh yes. Mastery. Fucking nailed it. Okay. Now, the vine. Um, this, in a way, this is his cape. In a way. Let's get rid of a lot of these extra bits. There we go, there we go. We're, we're getting somewhere with this. Here we go, here we go. Yeah. Redemption Melon's vine comes down. Certainly it does. I mean, it would have to, right? Here we go, here we go. Oh, yeah. And it's a vine, so it can do all sorts of cool, fun things. Like that. There we go. Right. Uh, that's. I thought that was. Let's do it here. We'll have it come up. Very good. What a lovely melon. Is okay. Cool, cool, cool. Love that. Really into it. Oh, how good are we, though? Nailed it. Turns out, pretty damn good. go. That's a decent looking vine. Now we put the leaves on it. Hey, Quellus. I appreciate you greatly. actually know what watermelon leaves look like. I'm just taking a guess. Guess it's something like that. Boom. Watermelon. Straight from the vine. You know what, folks? I think that's going to have to do it for tonight. Oh, what a mess. What a mess. What a mess. Grab those back, grab that back. Um, I appreciate everybody who came out, supported me in my time of need. Um, for those of you who stuck it out, you're the true, true champions. I don't know, I'm just saying words while I try to get these things filed away properly. It's all nonsense. Surely it is. God. I hate it when bits are in the wrong bag, bro. It's, it just hits me a certain way, and it bothers the hell out of me. All right, that's all of it. 
please God, just put them, just put them away. Get rid of them. Get them out of my inventory. <sighs> They're all gone. All the pits are gone. I can live stress-free for the moment. Ah, oh, but look at these details. We made pumpkin, little, and pumpkin's little brother John. Redemption melon. What a king. We made our take and leave book exchange station. We blended cobble and big bricks and did things that chisel and bits only will ever allow us to do. We made a great, fantastic flag up at the top. We made crenellations. We did things that made our game run like ass. I'm getting a whole 20 frames right now. A whole 20 frames. And I think it's mostly because of this idiot and him being on fire. Because now we're getting a whole 49 of them. Hey, folks, it's been real. I appreciate you all. Um, I'm not going to stream tomorrow because I have an opportunity to play games with friends. And I'm going to do that. I also have to some homework I got to do. Next week is my spring break, though. So instead of streaming Dark Souls tomorrow at noon Eastern Standard, I think I'm going to do it on Monday, like in the morning what I'm thinking and I might do a couple other like midday streams throughout the week next week just as little fun romps um because I'm gonna be really really bored and I like streaming because of people like you watching the VODs participating in chat redemption melon bless you Um, maybe see you on Monday. Stay tuned.